Bucka, 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 bucka. Ha ha. You know the deal. This is me. Exponents has to do with multiplication. So before we talk about exponents, we're going to talk a little bit about multiplication. Multiplication has to do with what's called repeated addition. Uh, the example I'm going to use here is suppose we work in a job and we get paid $8 per hour. And suppose we work for five hours. Well, in order to calculate our pay, we would add 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 because we're getting paid $8 per hour and we've worked for five hours. Well, mathematicians are inherently lazy and what mathematicians realized was we needed to come up with a way to, to shorten this, a, a simpler way to write a, a repeated addition question like this. And that's where multiplication comes from. So of course, to write this as a multiplication question, we would write that as 8 times 5. And what that tells us is we're going to add 8 to itself 5 times. Well, exponents work in very much the same way, except exponents have to do with what's called repeated multiplication. So the example that I'm going to use here is suppose we had to calculate the volume of a cube. Well to calculate the volume of a cube we multiply length times width times height. But of course a cube, uh, on a cube the length, the width, and the height are all the same. So in this case our, our length is 4 centimeters, so our width is 4 centimeters, and our height is 4 centimeters. So to calculate the volume we multiply 4 times 4 times 4. Well, once again, mathematicians are lazy. We like to find ways to shorten things. And the way that we shorten this math sentence, where we have what's called repeated multiplication. And the reason that we have repeated multiplication here is because we're multiplying the same value over and over and over again. In this case, we're multiplying 4 times itself 3 times. So another way to write this math sentence is as 4 to the power of 3. So a little bit of terminology that we have here. 4 is called the base. That's our big number here. That's the number that we're multiplying over and over and over again. The little 3 that we have up here, that's called our exponent. That tells us how many times to multiply 4 times itself. So again here, our base is 4. That's the number we're going to multiply times itself. Our exponent is 3. So that tells us to multiply 4 times itself three times. So to simplify 4 to the power of 3, we multiply 4 times 4 times 4, which would be 64. So another example down here, we have 5 to the power of 4. So in this case, our base is 5 and our exponent is 4. So that tells us that we're going to have a repeated multiplication question here we're going to multiply 5 times itself 4 times. So in order to simplify this, in order to find the answer, we have to multiply 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And when we simplify that, the answer that we get is 625. So, to make sure that we understand the concept of exponents, let's try a question now. So here we have a question, and the way we would say this math sentence is 3 to the power of 4. So the three questions I'm going to ask here is, what is the base, what is the exponent, and simplify. And what I'd ask you to do now is pause the video and see if you can answer those three questions. Okay, so hopefully you were able to answer those three questions. In this case, the base is our big number. That is 3. That's the number that we're multiplying over and over and over again. Uh, in this math sentence, the exponent is 4. That's the little number up here. And again, the way we would say this math sentence is 3 to the power of 4. Now, in order to simplify, we actually have to do the math here. So, to write 3 to the power of 4 as a repeated multiplication question, that would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And the answer to that that you hopefully got was 81. And if that was the answer that you got, congratulations, you have a firm understanding of how exponents work now.